Cape Cafe. Season 1, Meet the Heroes. Episode 1, The New Guy. Starring Tony Stark also known as the Invincible Iron Man. Starring Peter Parker also known as the Spider-Man. Here we see our regular superheroes enjoying their morning coffee. And a tall, dark, and mysterious man walks in. It's Bruce Wayne the new guy. Good morning. So, you're the new guy? What brings you here? I've been hearing a lot about this place. Thought I'd come check it out for myself. The other heroes continue to eye him suspiciously, unsure of his true intentions then Peter walks up to him. You know, it's not every day we get someone like you walking into this place. What makes you think you belong here? I'm just a guy trying to do some good in this world, and from what I've heard, that's exactly what you all are doing too. The conversation continues, with the other heroes asking Bruce questions and trying to gauge his intentions. Eventually, they begin to warm up to him, realizing that he truly does share their passion for helping others. Have a good day. Bruce walks out with a new sense of belonging and a newfound respect from the other heroes. Cape Cafe. Season 1, Meet the Heroes. Episode 2, The Villain Dilemma. Starring Tony Stark also known as the Invincible Iron Man. Peter Parker also known as the Spider-Man. Introducing Clark Kent aka Superman along with Bruce Wayne. I don't get it, why bother with rehabilitating villains? They're just going to break out and cause more trouble. But doesn't everyone deserve a second chance? What if they genuinely want to turn their life around? I agree with Tony. We can't afford to take chances with dangerous criminals. They need to be stopped, once and for all. I see both sides of the argument. We have to be careful not to become the very thing we're trying to stop. But at the same time, we can't let them harm innocent people. As they continue to discuss, the cafe door opens and a new hero walks in. He introduces himself as Captain Justice, a hero from a nearby city. Hey guys minds if I join you? The other heroes welcome him and introduce themselves, but they are hesitant about accepting him right away. We're a tight-knit group, Captain Justice. What brings you here? Captain Justice explains that he is on a mission to stop a powerful villain who has been wreaking havoc in his city. He asks for their help and offers to join forces with them. We've been burned before by people pretending to be heroes. How do we know you're not working for the villain? Captain Justice understands their skepticism and offers to prove himself by assisting them in taking down a lesser known villain who has been causing trouble in the area. Through a combination of wit and bravery, Captain Justice proves himself to the other heroes, and they welcome him into their group. As they enjoy their coffee and pastries, they continue to discuss their differing opinions on how to deal with villains, but ultimately agree that their main priority is to protect innocent lives and prevent further harm. Off to my next challenge I go. Captain Justice and the other heroes head off together. Cape Cafe. Season 1, Meet the Heroes. Episode 3, Love and Superpowers. Starring Tony Stark also known as the Invincible Iron Man. Peter Parker also known as the Spider-Man. Introducing Clark Kent aka Superman along with Bruce Wayne. Peter Parker is seated at a table with a group of superheroes. He looks stressed and distracted, checking his phone every few minutes. Guys, I don't know what to do. I have this amazing girlfriend, but being Spider-Man is taking up all of my time. Believe me, Peter, I understand. It's not easy juggling a secret identity in a personal life. 
I remember when Pepper was my girlfriend, I was constantly running off to save the world. It's not easy, but you just have to find the balance. You need to prioritize, Peter. You can't save the world every day. Take a break, spend time with your girlfriend, and make sure she knows how important she is to you. Peter nods and takes a deep breath, looking relieved. Thanks, guys. I think I have a plan now. Suddenly, the cafe door bursts open and in walks a villain, causing Peter to jump up and get ready for a fight. This is the barista responsible for making my Spider-Man suit smell like a coffee. Well, this is new. Calm down Peter, I'll buy you a new suit. Tony and Peter head off to design the new Spider-Man suit. Cape Cafe Season 1, Meet the Heroes Episode 4, The Cafe Heist Starring Tony Stark also known as the Invincible Iron Man Peter Parker also known as the Spider-Man Introducing Clark Kent aka Superman along with Bruce Wayne Just another boring day at the Cap Cafe, customers chatting and enjoying their drinks while the heroes sit at their usual table, discussing recent events. So, we've had some success in taking down the criminal syndicate, but we can't let our guard down. There are always more threats lurking in the shadows. I agree. We have to be vigilant and ready for anything. Well, speaking of being ready, I just upgraded my suit with some new repulsor beams. Wanna see? Uh, guys, I don't mean to interrupt, but do you see what I see? We see a group of masked villains bursting into the cafe, brandishing weapons and demanding everyone's valuables. Alright, everyone hand over your wallets and jewelry, and no one gets hurt. And don't even think about calling the police. We have this place surrounded. The customers begin to panic and scramble to get out of harm's way. Not so fast, gentlemen. The heroes quickly spring into action, leaping from their seats and engaging in a fierce battle with the villains. Bruce takes down the villain with ease, while Clark uses his superhuman strength and speed to quickly subdue another attacker. Tony tries to get his suit but gets caught meanwhile, Peter struggles to get into his Spider-Man costume, but eventually manages to swing into action. Sorry, guys. I'm not used to being caught off guard like that. The battle rages on, leaving the cafe in shambles. Tables and chairs are overturned, glasses shattered, and debris loose the floor. But eventually, the heroes manage to defeat the villains. As they regroup at their table, catching their breath and discussing the events of the battle, they all agree that they need to be more vigilant in the future. We can't let something like this happen again. We need to protect this cafe at all costs. Agreed. We'll install some new security measures and make sure we're always on the lookout for trouble. As they sit together, surveying the damage, they realize that they have all grown closer through their shared experience. Well, I guess it's time to clean up the mess. Who's with me? All you, kid. Justice League meeting Clark. We better leave. Cape Cafe. Season 1, Meet the Heroes. Episode 5, The Aftermath. The Aftermath, tables and chairs overturned, debris scattered on the floor, and the walls bearing the scars of the intense battle. As the cleanup efforts begin, the heroes and villains find themselves working side by side. Tony Stark and Lex Luthor, both tech geniuses, collaborate to fix the cafe's damaged equipment. Hey, Lex, can you pass me that wrench? Sure thing. Here you go. Harley Quinn and Deadpool, known for their unpredictable and quirky personalities, share a laugh as they try to clean up spilled coffee. This is kinda fun. Maybe we should make a mess more often. Speak for yourself, Harley. 
I don't think my delicate sensibilities can handle another fight like that. Even the typically brooding Batman and Wolverine are seen chatting amicably as they work to repair the damage. You know, I always thought you were a bit of a stick in the mud, Bats, but you're not so bad once you get to know you. Likewise, Logan. I suppose we both have our demons to deal with. As they work together, unexpected conversations arise. Spider-Man and Catwoman discover a shared love of street art. You know, Selina, I've always been a bit of a graffiti artist myself. There's something exhilarating about leaving your mark on the city. I couldn't agree more, Spider-Man. There is a certain thrill in bending the rules a bit. Meanwhile Wonder Woman and Poison Ivy discuss the importance of protecting the environment. Poison Ivy, I know we've had our differences in the past, but I respect your passion for protecting the environment. Thanks, Wonder Woman. I may be a villain, but I still care about this planet. We only have one, after all. The Flash and Captain Cold, longtime rivals, have a surprisingly civil conversation about the merits of different ice cream flavors. You know, Captain Cold, I always thought you were all about the cold and nothing else. I didn't realize you were such an ice cream aficionado. Hey, just because I am a villain doesn't mean I can't enjoy the sweeter things in life. Mint chocolate chip is my personal favorite. As the cafe slowly returns to its former glory, the heroes and villains share a newfound respect for one another. I have to admit, I never thought I'd be working alongside villains like this. But maybe there's more to them than meets the eye. We may be on opposite sides, but I have to respect your strength and determination, Superman. You truly are a formidable opponent. They may not always see eye to eye, but they've learned that they can work together towards a common goal. And as they sit down for a well-deserved cup of coffee, they realize that perhaps they're not so different after all. I have to say, I never thought I'd be sharing a cup of coffee with my arch nemesis, the Joker. Likewise, Bats. But maybe there's more to this whole hero-villain thing than we thought. Maybe we can learn something from each other. The heroes and villains continue to chat and share stories, united in their efforts to rebuild the cafe and their newfound respect for each other.